punctuation in formal and friendly letters, dates, addresses, and locations. When writing a friendly letter, we put a comma after the greeting. So if we were writing to Granny, we would say, Dear Granny, and use a comma. When writing a formal letter, we put a colon after the greeting. So if we were writing to Mr. Reed, we would say, Dear Mr. Reed, and use a colon. We use a comma after the closing in both a friendly and a formal letter. So if, for Granny, for instance, we would say, Love, Sarah, and then for Mr. Read in our letter, we might say respectfully, Sarah Smith. Use a comma between the day and year in a date, January 1st, 1863. To keep the numbers from running together, we use a comma after the date before the year. Use a comma between the names of a city or town in a state, Canton, Ohio. We put a comma after Canton. Or if we abbreviate Ohio, we still put the comma after Canton. Also use a comma between the names of a street address, a town, and a state. So if we have the whole address written out, we would put a comma after 2121 George Hallis Drive Northwest, then after Canton. Let's see how that would look in a letter. Here we have a formal letter. It's written to Dear Mr. Reed. Let's start at the top. The first line, 345 Timken Road, is okay. Then we have Canton, Ohio. We need a comma between the town and the state. Then we have June 15th. We need a comma there between the day and the year. Dear Mr. Reed, it's a formal letter, so we use a colon. And then at the bottom, we have respectfully, so we use a comma. Now it is your turn. Show what you learned by completing the Google Form.